And we're live. Oh, it's coming right for me. <laughs> Actually, my logo. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? We're doing good. Pretty good. Really good. Ain't it fun? All right. So we have another exciting night ahead of us. Uh, Teresa, I'm joined with Teresa Lynch, uh, Glow13, and Corey. So what is up, you guys? How How is everybody doing out there and in our chat? Really good. Been a busy day. I have something I want to share with you. It may, it may uh, sort of lighten the mood a little bit. Um, hold on. I, gotta, I have to show you this, guys. Uh, Bunny Rabbit tries a lemon for the first time. <laughs> It's it's so freaking hilarious. You have to see it. Okay, watch this. Watch his expression. No. <laughs> oh, watch his face. <laughs> 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 I don't know. We're gonna have we're gonna have lemon uh, cream eggs for Easter there. Oh, look cute. Oh, looks yeah. like my. Bunny. But uh, speaking speaking of bunnies, I'm I, I'm on my last Russell Stover bunny from Easter. Uh, I've actually wow. been a long How's time. This, how does it taste? I don't know. I'll let you know in a minute. So go ahead now. Wow. Teresa, this is your show. So. Uh, let's do some greetings and and uh, who who all's here, Corey? We got from 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 here. Uh, Dolly had braces, and Glow, of course, in the chat. And Wake Up News, it's always here. Good to have you guys. Amen. And oh, our chocolates to die for. Mm. Oh, another one, guys. Yeah, new guy, new guy. And Dominic Frost, Frosty. I want. I went through a little bit of the mailbag this past uh, weekend and the past couple of days, and um, I came up across this Elvis Presley. Oh, come all you faithful! This was sent to me by Dean J, and he says there's a song change in it. And if you listen closely, it says the rivals of heaven. Listen. <laughs> Yeah, that's strange. Rivals of Heaven Above in the Elvis Presley song. Yeah, that's strange. Yeah. Um, Teresa, uh, tell me about this residue you had with Mae West. Did she actually... Yes. Quote? Supposedly, I'm trying to find an actual um, clip where she's saying it, but supposedly the M.E. is that she never said it. In the movie, so I keep finding more residue and more residue, and um, I'm like, well, wait a minute! All this residue is saying that she said it. I mean, even the the thing on Etsy, which is a very um, a website where they sell a lot of um, antique and new items, a little bit of everything, a well known website, ETSY, and um, you can see the collectible item from that. Brian, you want to show him that one? Yeah, I'm looking. I'll, I'll show little, the little bullet thing. And let me talk about what it says, too. Yeah, and it's weird. I remember her saying it. Is that a gun in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Mae West. <laughs> and this one says, is that a pistol in your pocket, or are you happy to see me? Yeah. 
Same difference. And, I guess. Then, and then from that movie, I sent you that clip the other day, remember? And the guy said, um, in the comment, yeah, this line is from Mae West. Mm-hmm. And it was set in an older movie, the line. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yep. Yep. I didn't know that either. Yep. So 1936. If anybody can find that for us, that, that I mean, that would be awesome. Yeah. I'm still searching. I'm going to eventually find it, guys. Not, <clears throat> I'm not going to give up. Teresa, I wish you were there. You could have helped us find Bin Laden. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. No. All right, so next, <laughs> I, I know we're jumping around here because we're a little short on time. It's a school night and everything for um, some people out there. And But there's this new thing. I've never heard of this, guys. It's some sort of algae, and it causes watermelon snow. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's real. Watermelon oh, my God. It's a real phenomenon. And it tastes awful, too. Um, you don't want to eat it. Yeah. I've never before in my life seen this. This was sent in by Ann Della. Her name is Ann Della. She sent it to me in email. So I've never seen this before. She says, have you ever seen this? In your I, I've never seen it. Beware of the watermelon snow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, I'll, 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 I'll tell you, Brian, um, up here... There had been a weird thing where we had some orange in our snow, and they kept telling us, don't let your pets or anybody eat anything that has the orange snow in it. So it only happened, like, over a couple weeks, and then it was gone, like, for the rest of the winter. But, like, mm. kind of like the pink the pink stuff the watermelon thing you're talking about is like uh where do we like i've never ever seen snow like change color like it's always white you know like yeah it's, it's kind of strange it's a weird phenomenon so I, I i encourage you guys to look that up for yourselves uh it's on wikipedia uh, i'm sure there's you there's plenty of youtube videos about it um I, uh, and apparently we have snow donuts i mean it's just the other day we we're talking about voodoo donuts right Teresa? Yeah, um, that was that live call we did a while back, um, and the um, manager who, I believe she was a manager who answered the phone, mm -hmm. I repeated Fruit Loops to her, like, how many times, Brian? I spelled Fruit Loops. <laughs> <laughs> I think I spelled it like four or five times. I'm like, is that F-R-U-I-T-L-O-O-P-S? Is that the same you know, that they sell on the shelves, you know, like at the grocery store that they're putting on your on the donuts. She's like, yes. And I said, the same cereal. And then I spelled it again. I must have spelled it so many times. It was just funny. And um, I don't know. If, do you have a clip of that, Brian? Yeah, I do. Um, it's I funny. <laughs> <laughs> For the new people who haven't heard it yet. All right, I'll play it. Um, okay. <laughs> funny. <laughs> and the okay. lady... Is probably not affected because she's still in her mind. She's still seeing F R, you know, U I T. And even on the menu, when you go online, even in Yelp, and even on their menu, where they sell the donuts, it's actually spelled like F R U I T L O O P S, not the F R O O T. It's spelled like the way we remember it. So why would they spell it that way if they didn't remember it that way, right? Right, absolutely. And to me, I would love to. I would love for one to open up where I live at. I would be there taking pictures of every word that says Fruit Loops. <laughs> I'd be like, snap, snap, snap. <laughs> Gotta find that video so I can share. It so okay, people. just okay. Google Fruit Loops Voodoo you know Donuts. I think that's what it's under. Yeah, do you know. I, I, got, I got a couple shout outs to a couple new people. Uh, Sharon McDonald's here. And oh. Hey, Sharon. And Stonebender's here. Who? Stonebender. Oh, hey, Stonebender. What's up? Hey. Glad everybody could make it. So let me find this little clip here. Oh, yeah, you take two locations in Oregon. There we go, right here. They're really hard to find. And these are based on the cereal, right? It's the loops that are out. Yeah, the yeah, market. they have the free loop cereal on them. Wow. So it's like. 
those kind of stores, right? The students that are on the boxes? Yeah. Those are the exact same ones? The exact same. Oh my God. Dang. That is so awesome. And again, it's F R U I T. Awesome. Um, I look forward to coming out to your store. Where are you located at? In Oregon? <laughs> Anyway, so that that's the clip. Uh, <laughs> every, every time I listen to it, I laugh at myself. <laughs> it's just funny. Oh god! It's like, oh, is that me? Oh yeah, it was me. Oh, I sounded was, stupid. No, oh, it was good. No, it was good. I Brian and I love doing live calls. Yeah. Oh Brian, and what about the residue I found the other day? For the Starbucks, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, um, Starbucks, as we remember it being just regular Starbucks, is now a Starbucks coffee. And one down the street from me, I don't remember it ever saying Starbucks coffee. And I mean, I literally live in walking distance. And I found some residue the other day. Um, right, Brian? Yeah. Um, they sell some Frappuccino um, products in Walmart. And on the box, it just says Starbucks. It doesn't say Starbucks coffee. Oh, really? Um, do, you, do, you, do you still have that, Brian? Mm -hmm. uh, do you want me to send it to you? Yeah, there's a bunch of it. Um, there's yeah, there's plenty of residue for Starbucks. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, I think Moneybags may have done a video also on it. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll yeah. give him credit. Starbucks used to be just regular Starbucks to me. And yeah, the, the, where it said Starbucks coffee was actually around in a circle, like. And uh, it was green. It was green and white. Was, I think there might have been some black in there. Yes, and there was two stars that I remember, like on either side. But yes. Starbucks was above, and coffee was below on the circle. And mm -hmm. it was in a semicircle, you know, Starbucks, and then on the bottom half, it was semicircle, it would be uh, coffee. Yeah. Star it might stars. have a little bit of residue still. Let me see. Yeah, you know there's residue. And where there's residue, Teresa's going to find it. Uh, oh, I sniff residue. There's a really big one that Teresa found. It's blowing up all over the internet. You, you, we're going to show yeah, it. Yeah, that you. one I'm, that that I'm kind of like, I mean, what do you, what do you, what what is your view on it, Brian? I don't think it's doctored up because if you look at it, it you could zoom in and tell that it's, it's not. That's, I was kind of wondering myself when I seen it, I was real excited. And I'm trying to think, okay, well, how old did Reagan look in the 80s, too? Because look look at the picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to look at it in just a moment, in a few moments, okay? I've got several more tabs to talk about. All right, I'm uh, going to look for your... Um, that's fine. Um, more residue for you. I just want to say shout out to uh, Julie Nugent's here. Oh, hey, oh Julie. Julie! Hey, girl, are you going to call in? And uh, Jet Rex Detroit is here. Yo, Ooh, what's welcome. Good? Hey, welcome. So, guys, there's this uh, Naga Fireball. It's um, they call it the Mekong Lights. It's a phenomenon said to be seen on the Mekong River, where glowing balls are allegedly uh, <laughs> naturally rising out of the water, high into the air. They're said to be reddish and orange. Uh, they range they range small sparkles to the size of basketballs. They quickly rise up to 100 meters before disappearing. This is a, a phenomenon. Uh, the May, they call it the Mekong lights. Oh, okay, I've never heard of this. I don't. I'm not saying it's an effect, but it is definitely interesting. Where is it, Brian? Where does it happen? Uh, the Mekong. Okay. Mekong. Mekong. Sounds like it. Sounds like it's off the coast of China or something. Huh. huh. Saint Elmo's fire pops up here. Ironic. Uh, St. Elmo's light. The plasma created by a coronal discharge from a sharp or pointed object. Huh. I never... I, see, one thing leads to another. Now I'm going to have to research St. Elmo's fire, but this is a time for... This would be for another show or something. Oh. Um, we also have this thing that Teresa shared with me from... Mooney Moondy's channel, and this is very interesting because you want to talk about that one, Teresa, about the Van Gogh? Yeah, Van supposedly, supposedly Van Gogh only had so many paintings out, and now it's like tripled. Like, where are all these paintings popping up from? It's like now, now all of a sudden they're existing. Um, do, 
in the video, Brian, does I really didn't get to watch very much of it, but does it start showing a lot of more um, paintings in the pictures that we could show, maybe? Yeah, there's a lot of them. I, the most famous one that I remember is Starry Night. I mean, I'm yes. sure that's what you guys remember, too. But he actually yes. had over 2,300, not not 230 anymore. It's it's now... Which doesn't make no sense. I don't remember him having all these paintings. Do you, Gloria? No, not at all. No. That's... Two thousand and three hundred. Wow! No way. Yes. So, Uni Mooney, special shout out to you, brother, for that one. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Uni Mooney, if you're listening. Um, he finds Brian. He finds some amazing um, effects. Guys, this is the nail in the coffin. Teresa found this one. I don't. How did you find this one, Teresa? This uh, uh, which Nelson, one? Nelson uh, Mandela. Oh, um, I was googling um, his name. And I started putting in the, the dates that supposedly he passed away. And things just started popping up. And I seen that. And I was like, wait a minute. And I figured I would share it with you guys. What do you think about it, Brian? I don't know. I, I think it's true. Um, it's mm -hmm. a memory Nelson Mandela. Mm -hmm. They tribute. They're paying a tribute. And, yeah. Uh, you know, usually when you remember someone, it's because they're dead. And uh, 1986 yeah. is what it shows for Nelson Mandela. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. We're approaching his birthday, aren't we? It wasn't it. Was it July 18th? <clears throat> uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'll have to look that one up. July 8th, Nelson Mandela's birthday. Now, now. Hope I'm right. Yeah, it's getting 18th. harder and harder to find certain residue. Like you know what I mean. Um, I do want to share. I do. I do want you to do me a big favor. I am proud of this one as well, the Victoria's Secret one. I wanted you to show that one, the video. Uh, you okay? You have it in the chat. Um. Yes. I yes. It was. I posted it, and the girl actually says Victoria's Secret. Oh wow! Yeah, not Victoria's Secret. She said Victoria. Do you see it? Yeah. I do want me send it to you again. Uh, send it to me again. I know we get sometimes lost. Okay, hold Sorry. on. Lost. Let me let me go back into Facebook and try to find it now because there's been a lot of posting going on, yeah. <laughs> like a lot. While you're doing that, can I share the the Pikachu residue and? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Did you see? It? Did you see it all? Yeah, Pikachu, and we have scorpions too to share. Uh, well, one of the scorpions I seen in a thrift store, and it had four legs. But I want you to show everybody what it looks like now with the four legs, the one I just sent you, and then show the residue of how it should look with three legs on each side. Okay? Exactly. Uh, yeah, the one I just sent you had eight legs. And I seen that one on Saturday in Saver's thrift store, and I, I didn't buy it because it creeped me out. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> Even though I am a Scorpio, <laughs> I didn't buy it. <laughs> it's too creepy. Yeah, Teresa, you're a Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, but I don't like I don't like the way they look. <laughs> no, it kind of looks like one of those things from the alien movie, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, the thing that crawls on your face and then you Yeah. Get... Yeah, it's it, it freaks me out my own sign. I wish I wish my sign was like a butterfly. <laughs> hey, that would be cool. A new astrology sign, a butterfly. Well, I'm a Virgo, so I got a woman, you know. You're lucky. Yeah. You always got a woman. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> you got a woman, Corey. You got a woman. Mine's a half man, half horse. Oh my God! Which end are you? Which horses? <laughs> horses in this reality have must. And go deeds. Teresa, I'm sending oh, you to pictures. Mustaches. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so look at this uh, Pikachu tail we have here. Right, residue be it being black. Of course, it wasn't shaped like a heart exactly, but it was kind of zigzaggy. I remember. Um, wow, look at this. More, yeah, good residue, Teresa. This is what I remember right here. Thank you. He always had. The, if you look, also one of the ones I sent you. If you look at the Simpsons, look at them on the wall. Look at the Simpsons one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Maggie. see it? The tail. Yeah, the other depicting. If you look yeah. at it, they're like doing like a. Deplicting it, like you know what I'm saying. 
Mm-hmm. Pokemon. Like trying to yeah. act like Pikachu, but using the characters of their bodies being Pikachu. Hey, Corey, can you use Pikachu? Like screaming Pikachu? No, I I, I'm, I was never. I was too old for the the whole uh, Pokemon thing. So. Oh okay. And yeah. You got. Oh look at this residue I found. <laughs> 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 oh man, that's ugly. I don't, oh. Okay, quick count the legs. I can't look too long. Quick count <laughs> the legs. Oh. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and then the two pincers now. Oh, it's disgusting. Okay. I'm sending one, you a two, whole three, bunch four. of residue for Victoria's Secret. Okay, there were only six legs. Like in this tattoo right here, right, Teresa? Yes. Yes. There were six. There were six and the two pincers. Now there's eight. Where did that come from? I don't know. There's another piece of residue, another tattoo. Look at that. We talked about this before. Now there's a uh, a movie clip here, and I'll kind of slow it down maybe so you can see it. It's it's from Flash of the Titans from 2010, where they're facing a gigantic scorpion, and I'll slow it down. That looks like Mr. T. <laughs> I look at that. I counted. I counted. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um. Yeah, it's, there's so much residue out there. It's like you know, it's not even funny. I mean, I. I mean, how can you say it's not an effect if there wasn't all this residue out there? Right, and that's how I feel. Man, exactly. I, I should say Mandela effect. You've got some explaining to do. Yeah. Teresa, I send you images of the Victoria thing. Oh, did you see the one that I posted? Yep, I'm sending them to the you. The right video now. too. The video. She actually says Victoria's Secret at, right there. You I'm hear it? Through, I'm going oh, through all of them right now. So I send you the thank pictures. You. We'll check awesome. them out. Awesome. Thank you. Oh my God! Yeah. What? Well, Brian, you can get it in the in the chat group. I'll group Victoria's. Chat. Yeah, Victoria's Secret. Told you. I had. I just want to make. I just want to let you guys know out there. I used to have this card. I maxed it out. Trust me. I know how much I paid on my bill every month. It was Victoria's Secret. <laughs> <laughs> I maxed it out. Yeah. Trust me. I know. <laughs> and it was funny. I discovered it months ago, and I was walking in the mall, a mall not too far from me. And I stood dead in my tracks with goosebumps, and it was the eeriest feeling. I looked up at it, and I knew, guys, right away that it was wrong. I just got this chills, and I freaked out, and I believe I called Brian. Didn't I, Brian, call you right away? Yeah. I was in tears, guys, especially when you're going to the store every month paying your bill, Boy, spending yeah. money, maxing it out. You know darn well there's something wrong. Yeah, I know. Like when Kate Kate Upton come out with like her lingerie mm -hmm. and it said Victoria's Secret, I was mm -hmm. crying big time, like big, 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 big time. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, the thing is, uh, when when did this? When did you guys start noticing the big changes? Was it in twenty? A month ago for me, I would say probably around six months ago. At least six, seven months ago, I noticed a change because I go every month to the mall. Like I said, I don't pay bills online. I go into the mall to pay all my bills. And one of the stores that I go to is actually right next door to Victoria's Secret because um, I had eventually paid them off. But I noticed it right away. I mean, it was like instant. What the heck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it was I just. It was somewhere yeah. around there, about six or eight months. Six or seven like months ago, yeah. it changed. Yeah. Ryan, I'm sending you more residue here. Okay. Here. And I sent some to your messenger. Oh, thank you. I got okay. it. Thank you. I'm going to get the rest, so go ahead, continue. Thank David, you. Hey, David Poehler says the Mandela effect is happening through artificial intelligence. It's fake. It's, a, it's AI hacking the timeline. Hey, David. You think the AI is doing it? Hey, David. We, we don't know what it is. Yeah. I'm causing the changes. It's all guessing, right? Well, I don't know. 
I mean, well, everybody, what? everybody's got different views of what they think happened. I. Oh my God! Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing the Victoria's Secret fashion show. Yeah, look at that. Or their own fashion show is even saying Victoria's Secret. Oh, did you show the tattoo? Um, did you show um, Gloria? Did you send him the tattoo? Yeah, I sent it. I sent it to the group. That chat. is something that, guys, that's something that Victoria's Secret stole there. That there were like things that you put on your leg. They're like fake tattoos. And they sold them there. And look what they said Victoria's Secret. Why would they sell a product that says Victoria's Secret, uh, you know, to put on your, on your leg if it was Victoria's Secret, right? Right. Right. So that pretty much, yeah, because people put it on their leg to, you know, wearing shorts or wearing a skirt or whatever and showing Victoria's Secret. So why would you put that on your leg if it didn't say Victoria's Secret? It says Victoria's Secret. You want to show that one, Brian? They literally sold those there for probably like $10 or something. It was yeah. like a promotional item they did one year. That's an excellent find, Teresa. Seriously. Oh, my God. I'm so excited about that one. And the video, I want him to play the video so everybody can hear it. What 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 marker was it that I said, Gloria? Um, I don't remember which one it is. I can't find the video. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. I did like a search. Secret. Let me see if I can find the video, Brian. Hold on while you're showing residue. It, it, but I know, it, I know, I, I yeah. It, it's her secret makes doesn't make any sense anymore. I mean, that was like her last name. Now it's like her secret. Like it's a something like she's trying to keep. Yeah, yeah. it's a plural thing. Like, like it's her own personal secret. Maybe they're trying to tell us something. I'm going to find the video. Just give me a moment here. Sorry. I know I posted it. And the girl clearly uh, says it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. 12. I got it, Brian. I got it. Listen to 12 seconds in. Got it. Hold on. I'm going to send you the video. Go to like 11 seconds. Hold on. And for anybody, in the, if anybody in the chat uh, for later, if you got questions, maybe start uh, compiling a list if you want to ask uh, Teresa some questions on yes, uh, yes. the residue. I'll be that, happy to answer uh, any questions. I might give some of my secrets away too. <laughs> the <laughs> residue, honey. <laughs> maybe it'll cost you. <laughs> I'm joking. Brian, did you see? I just sent it to you. You want to go ahead and go to 12, 11 seconds in? Sure. Okay. If you notice, it says, I don't, do you want to bring it up so you can show them first before you play it? Okay. Which one did you send it to the moderators? Uh, to your personal one and everybody else. Yeah. Go to where, yeah. You see it? Okay. Yeah. 11 seconds? Go to like 10 or 11 seconds, but play it loud enough for them to hear it. <clears throat> I noticed that there's something that with Maybelline. Like, I could have sworn Maybelline only had one L. Now it has two. I'll have to look into that one because I wear their makeup. Yeah, Nathaniel sent me a ton of residue, which I have to share, too. Um, three Are six. you telling me Maybelline has one L now? No, it, it, it has two. Which way do you remember? Ooh, I'll have to see it. I'll have to look at it, and then I'll let you know. It is going to be a Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale haul. I put to my channel. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, it is going to be a Victoria's Secret Victoria's Secret oh, here. Did it change? No, she says Victoria's Secret, just like the title says. No way. Play it again. Okay, one more time. For the first time, then hello. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, it is going to be a Victoria's Secret semi-annual. There you go. Oh my god. I found that all by myself, Brian. <laughs> Brian. Yeah. Um, Maybelline, He's in shock. Maybelline, Wake up, Brian. <laughs> He's in shock. It's <laughs> not spelled like that. You're right. 
No, but look how it's spelled in the video. It's even spelled Victoria's Secret. Do you see no, it? Talking about the Maybelline, he's right. There's only one L. There's that. No, that's wrong. It's spelled. Wait wrong. a minute. Are you telling me it changed? Look at it. Look at it, Teresa. Oh no, 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 no! Not my other makeup. It's bad enough for Avalon's all messed up. Wow. That's a good Maybelline fun. is now. Okay, well, I've got like a ton of these residues here that show Maybelline. Oh. I see Maybelline with two L's. Oh, but I'll show you. This is this is what's going on. See, I don't know if it's set to confuse us or what. Okay, somebody sent me something in the chat. Hold on. I'll get to that in a sec. But look, look at the Maybelline, all these things here. Look. You see where it has Maybelline, how, how it normally is with two L's, but over here in the ad it says one L. One L. I remember one it L. It didn't change, Brian. It, should, it still shows two L's for me. Yeah, but you know what? When It, it doesn't autocorrect when you do two L's. It autocorrects you. Oh, it does? Yeah. yeah Wait a minute. I, which is the ME? Is it one L or two L's? It it's now has two L's. L's. I see two L's. I'm asking all you all you cover girls out there <laughs> and everything. Uh, help me out here. How many L's were in Maybelline? I seem to remember just one. Uh, I know there's two in this reality. Two L's in Maybelline. It looks weird. Yeah, it's one L. No, it's not. That's wrong. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't say I'm not. Yeah, this you did not no. get your makeup. No. <laughs> no, this this was sent to be my by uh, Nathaniel Ebert. Uh, he sent it to me. Well, he's right. That's that's uh, I, I was putting my green makeup on for my kiss outfit. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> oh, yeah, the green. Yeah, it's affecting makeup now, guys. You're right. Yeah, look, yeah. look at this. Look at this, guys. Why yeah. would it be two L's in the ad and then one L in the title? Yeah, yeah that's a huge Vendela. Yeah. I want to know what the people in the chat are saying. Hold on. Let me see. Why does it look funny with one L? That's the way that I remember. Does though, but it, but it could be right, you know. But now it's two L's, Teresa. Look yeah. At it with yeah, color. but it looks it looks weird to me with one L. It looks really weird to me. Revlon change too. Revlon the uh, what, what's the change with Revlon? The lettering. It's loose. It's, the O is like a continuous loop now, like a six. If Connect. you look at it upside down, it looks like a six. Yeah, it's connected with the. The L and the O are yes, connected. and I know that one. I know that one changed because I've been wearing Revlon for many years, probably since like over twenty years, as long as it's been around. And I know for sure that one changed. That one just, I'll have to look for residue for that one, Brian. That's going to be a hard one. You know. Hey, what's up, Batman? Batman's here. Oh hey, no, Batman, where's Robin? <laughs> where's the Joker? <laughs> Joker, Get <Catwoman>. one. <laughs> Batmobile broke its wheel. Yeah. Welcome, Batman. <laughs> hey, welcome, Batman. <laughs> All right. Na, 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 Batman. Oh, it's hard to say with the Maybelline. I, I, I'm I, seeing one. Part of me is remembering. I hate to say this. I don't want to be opposite of you guys, but part of me is remembering two L's. Well, it could be. Like, we all remember things differently. And for me. And I've been like, wearing Maybelline for many yeah. years, too, guys. Yeah. Yes, like I'm not a woman, so like I don't. I yeah, it's not like that product is something that I would be. Well, when know, I look at it, guys, right? just to look at it, it looks off to me with one L. I just want to say that, and you know, I'm affected and everything, but one L looks off. I know. But te te so, Revlon is a definite change. I know for sure because I used to. Yeah, use that one. I'm gonna have fun looking for residue for that one, but right. maybe tomorrow, Brian, I'll do some searching. And see if I can find some residue for Revlon, and then maybe you can present it on Friday's show, if I find any. So I look at look at Revlon. Revlon's been like this this whole time. Yeah. Um, I, I I remember using my mom's hair dryer, and it was a Revlon hair dryer. I used that for years. <clears throat> Big, and the O is kind of like it's broken right here, but it, the L and the O are merged. Yeah. That wasn't. I like bet I can find some. I bet you I can find some. Yeah, that looks totally wrong. Any it like it, it's almost like it's a Q. Yeah, it does. Sound like a Q there.
I want to see. I want to look at a Facebook post because there is one from uh, a couple of years ago, I believe, when uh, when I was hunting residue for Victoria's yeah. Secret. I actually, found one of my friends had posted something. I thought that video was really good residue, Brian. I thought that's why I wanted you to play it for the Victoria's Secret. I'd yep. like to welcome uh, Rebecca Mad Madsden. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. What's her uh, last name? In the chat. Oh, hi. Welcome. Yeah, I agree with Rebecca. Is, is anybody coming in from my Facebook group? Anybody? You noticed anybody? Um, except for Julie Nugent. Uh, we have uh, Sharon McDonald's from the group. What? Hey, hey guys. Sharon. Hey, Julie. A couple of people. Okay, listen, I just saw a post from our her dear friend Shami in back in 2015. Yeah. She says, Do not go to Victoria's Secret today. It's just nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'm already home. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> this is from Shami. Do not go to Victoria's Secret. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's funny. Here's somebody selling a Victoria's Secret set. Now, what is this? Wow. Victoria's Secret set. She she put it right here on the in the picture. Boy, all the Revlon changed, Brian. I'm looking at the old ones. I know. And they're all changed. Wow, this is crazy. Victoria's Secret pink hoodie. That's uh, going to be hard to find residue for that one. Yeah, it would. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be like this. You would. You wouldn't see both ways. As this you is from 1980s, and it. You know what's weird? I'm looking at a 1980s advertisement, and it's got that weird logo. 1980s. That is really, really crazy, Brian. You know that? Yeah. What's? 1980. Yeah, the Revlon is still the weird new one. It was not like that. I know. And what, what's some of the newer posts in your group, Teresa? Because you have that Residue Hunters. Um, Reality Residue Hunter is the name of Teresa's group. Oh, let oh, me I'm, take a look. I'm posting a link. All right. Thank let's you. That. And Teresa, you have a couple people here from your group also. <laughs> They're saying hello. They're from your group. Oh, so, hi. Do you have any, anybody's names? Yeah, I think Anybody? it's so. Hey, guys. Thank you. Thank you again for joining my group. Um, and just, you know, keep posting any new Mandela effects and go ahead and post your old and new residue. And if you're just waking up, uh, just be patient. I know it's going to be hard to get through this, right, Brian? Yeah. And don't be, don't be shocked of things you might see coming up, especially things changing in front of you, which happened to me again today, Brian. Oh, <laughs> again. <laughs> I want guys. Um, speaking of all that, you know, residue. I watch stuff change in front of me again. I'm getting it happened twice. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm getting ready to do a uh, video, Teresa, coming up. So, um, uh, what kind? Well, residue video. I'm gonna post everybody's residue together in one lump sum. Oh, great! I'll send you some more. Then I got. Oh, I do have a bunch of cup of noodles. Um, I haven't posted yet to the um Facebook group. Um, but I am going to be posting a whole bunch of uh, cup of noodles. It's some good residue, too. I'll share it with you, Brian, if you want to present that on the next video coming up. All right. Before I post it in the group. Sounds good. So what, what, um, new, effects, what new effects? I'm asking the chat now. I want to turn the attention yeah. to the live chat. Um, you, talked about the, um, you talked about the Van Goghs already, right? Yeah, we talked about the Van Goghs. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what, what else is going really on to me the thing that really got to me was the watermelon snow that i was like man i've got to do a video tonight about that that is uh, that is weird you know it looks like cotton candy <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you took cotton candy yeah it looks like pink cotton candy and yes i love cotton candy so it's that like pink like from the 50s you know that kind of pink oh actually remember the movie grease remember the movie grease yeah yeah Teresa. You remember when she took the thing off her head and her hair was pink? Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> Our friend, she's... 
<laughs> She's got her hair all over the place. Um, that which, would be. Here's the new. Wait, here's the new one, guys. No, 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 Teresa. If you hmm. were to play a character in Greece, that would be you, right? That would be me, Frenchie. I love Frenchie. Yep, that yeah. would be me. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, a couple yeah. of people in the chat are talking about the the Prince song. Yes. Yeah, I'm actually going to say something right now. That's what I was trying to say. Um, yeah. Guys, remember Prince's When Doves Cry? Sometimes I'm just like my father, um, too bold. Sometimes blank, just like my mother, she's never satisfied. What do you guys, what do you think goes in the blank? I thought it this was, was posted 52 minutes ago, by the way, in the group. Well, there was a Moneybag 73 yeah. video, I think it was this morning, actually, wasn't it? Or last yeah. time? Yes, Moneybag 73. So, what do you remember Wait, when doves cry? Sometimes I'm just like my father, too bold. Sometimes blank, just like my mother. Sometimes She's I'm never like satisfied. What do you think it is? Sometimes I'm just like my mother. Let's see what it says. Now it's an insult. I think it's I'm. Yeah, I got an I'm. And then somebody said, maybe I'm. And I remember I'm. Why don't you play it, um, Brian, and let's hear what it says. Let's yeah, see if it's changed. I'm curious about that now. Go ahead and bring it up. And let's see what it's changed to. Because I remember I'm too. Do we, all, do we all agree on that? I'm just like my mother. I have yeah. to go. I have to go along with Julie Nugent because she said that she played it three times, and for her it flip flop, and the same thing happened to me. No way. Let's go ahead and play it, Brian. Bring up um, when Debs cry. Hey, which minute marker do you know? No. <laughs> No, I mean, yeah. Maybe. Maybe you're just like what? my mother. Hang on, let's no, look. it says sometimes here. Did it change? Maybe or maybe? Maybe. Oh my God, yes. Yeah, that's it, it changed to your. Maybe you're just like my mother. <gasps> oh my God. That's a huge one, guys. Yeah. What are you remembering, guys? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'm just like my mother. What was Rebecca's question? Rebecca had a question. Ask the audience what they remember, Brian. Let's see. Let's get people's oh. thoughts on that one. And just on that uh, note, a shout out to uh, new people that come in. Uh, Mikey, Dale, and Brian, and Dwayne. Welcome. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Wait, Brian Stavely says in every verse they knew. So, so Brian, what was it? What was the real? Yeah. Yeah, the twelve days of Christmas is another weird one. The it was huh. about love. the brains. No, the true love <laughs> gave to me, and now it's true love sent to me. That's just weird. Um, okay, how do think? Sing it again. Hold on. On uh, this, which Rebecca, one? Which which one is it? Hang on. Rebecca says your. It was, Brian says it was. I'm like my mother. Oh my God! See, he knew it too. It changed, then, guys. That's the huge one. All right, so should I do a video? Let's oh go. yeah, add that to your list. <laughs> <All right. laughs> let's see what other kind of let's see what other new ones we might have in here. I'm going through it, Brian. You have. Uh, How do you remember spelling judgment? That was a huge Mandela judgment. Two e's. A one e. Judgment. Judgment had judgment had the e in the middle, and it's it's gone now. Okay. Oh, you know you should talk about the stomach. That's changing the stomach, and it's been affecting people, guys. And even my non-ME friend, 
He's been complaining about the stomach, not even knowing that that's a new effect, because my stomach has been acting up, too. Like, I don't want to eat as much. Mm-hmm. And I'm just wondering, all the listeners out there, have any of you guys been experiencing any problems with your stomach, any digestive problems or other things you want to talk about? Because that's a huge change, right, Brian? Eva, yeah. I mean, Eva is the one who um, did a video on it, Eva? Yeah, Eva, yeah. Is it, what's the name of the channel? Uh, Church? No, new, ch- what is the name of it? Uh, Once Upon a Timeline, is their name. Yeah, Once Upon a Time, Eva is really good. And now the stomach is splitting apart. Like, it's like splitting in two. And it's been messing with a lot of people's stomachs. Even non-ME people that don't even know that it's being affected, which is weird. My, 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 actually, my um, co-worker slash boss called in sick today because his stomach's all messed up. And he never yeah. calls in sick. It's, it's, it's kind of like so that was kind of bizarre for me. Like divided up. Yeah, you can show the video on that one. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. The pylorus, the antum, antrum, body, and the fundus, cardia. Yeah, maybe. Oh, here's should- one. Um, do you remember the movie called "This Is the End"? Yes. Um, it's this, um, Bob Edge, who's in our group. I don't know if he's listening. He said no more than three months ago, I could have swore they were calling him D Franco constantly. And at one point his name was even displayed in the movie spelled out. Am I just remembering this wrong or has the name been emmied to James Franco now? I had never seen the movie, so I can't really comment on that one. What do you think, Brian? Possible Emmy? For me, it was always James Franco. I know he played. Wasn't he in that Wizard of Oz movie? The, the yeah. Oz. He yeah. Oh, him! Yeah, I remember him. James Franco. Did he play the wizard? Yes. No, he. he no, he. Yes, was, with the brown hat or whatever, or something like that. He wasn't the wizard. He was the one that like went to Oz and like yeah. started started his little. Trail on the yellow brick road or whatever. Brian, what about those lines in the Target thing? You know, the Target? Has anybody seen any changes around any of the people's Targets flipping back and forth? We've had a lot of uh, Julie also in the audience. I think it was a Julie, Brian? Yeah, it was the the broken circle, right? Yeah, um, but they've been flip-flopping around lately, the... um, Target logos, and I think yours flipped around too. You know the video you did a while back on Target. Didn't somebody mention that your residue flipped? That my residue or your residue flipped around on yeah, us yeah. on the Excellent. Target video. Yeah, so it was. Laura, well, you want to comment on that? You know a little bit more about that one yeah, about the actually, Target flip flopping. Yeah, can ask Julie Nugent to post it in the chat because she's the one who spoke to the woman about it. Julie, chat. Uh, post something about that and um, right yes. now. Yeah, is she gonna answer anything about yeah, that? Oh, we can get her to call in because we're going to call ins, aren't we? I don't know. She just answered. She said Deanna from the group. She's the one who posted it. That Brian had. Oh, a okay. Video. Okay. I don't know how much. Yeah. Well, like my video change. Yeah, something like that. Um, Nathaniel, Nathaniel Winter Heber, very very good residue hunter. I'm learning a lot from him. Um, he comes from another channel, but he's in this group now. He also posted something about a wrestler, um, Rick Flair, and the yeah. name is now F L A I R, and also um, R I C instead of R I C K. So that flip flopped from R I C K to R I C. I've never heard of this wrestler, but supposedly no, that's was, another Mandela. It was it was R I C K. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rick Flair. Woo! You know? No, it's R I C. No, it's R I C, Brian. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, another Mandela, Brian. Uh, Nutella. You know Nutella? It looks like peanut butter, but it's like that black color. Oh. The logo. Um, Yvonne Rogers, new member, said she remembers Nutella as N U being red with two small dots above the U and Tella being written in black. But only the N is red now and two small dots above the U are gone and Utella is now black. 
So supposedly the logo for Nutella changed. You want to bring that up, Brian, and show them? Nutella? Teresa yes, changed. She had also posted uh, one of the people in your group. I can't remember her name about the Nutella. Above the above the U, there was always two red dots. I remember that also. That's what I just said. That's what oh, I just said. I, yeah. I was just. I was listening. <laughs> I, was, I was like, wait a minute! I just said that. <laughs> Judy was answering your question about Brian's video that it flip flopped, and she was, and I was reading that just. Now. Oh okay. yeah. And wait a Brian, second. you want to bring up Nutella's um, logo? Yeah, there's another thing too that I noticed. The N has turned black. Mm -hmm. It was brown. Yes, 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 yes. That that's new to me. Is that a new change or just like hey, look? It's these, always been or like a logo that. change. Yeah, See what it says in Logopedia, so we can verify that. Um, yeah, she's right here. Yeah, while N is red. That. Yeah. It says, what color was that? The green was? I'm asking the audience, anyone eat this stuff? Can you tell me what color was the N and the U? I remember it red. Me did too. It, did they reverse? Because now the Utella is red and the N is black. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, did it flip? Does it look bad? I, I can't see it. That's Has crazy. it changed? Yeah. yeah. Yep. What is Logopedia saying, Brian? So now, I'm curious to know. 1964, the N is black and the Utella is red now. What? What? You mean it, you need to add that to your list for the, another um, Emmy? <laughs> but what, what happened to the dots above the U? There used to be two dots. That's, that's what she said. The dots, are, the dots are gone, right? Yeah, yeah, they're not there anymore. They don't exist no more. Nope. The audience agree with that one? Anybody who's a big fan of Nutella? Do you do see that. the logo that Brian is showing you guys? Do you agree that it's changed? Anybody it, out there? This is a vote. Is it a change? Guys, it, help, I, help I us out. And, said and, and for new people in the chat, I'd like to say to Taekwondo is here and Scapegoat Skunk, mm -hmm. Adam Gardner, and Ghana Ball. Oh, Adam. Yeah. Hi, Adam. Hey, Brian. Yeah. So Juan Martinez slash Dead GPK sent some awesome residue, and I want to send it to you. Um, you remember the Cranberries Linger music video? Yeah. Awesome. You got to see. I'm going to send this to you. This is a residue of the World Globe, and it is really good residue. I'm going to send it to you now. Okay. It's really, really, really good. Adam, go hey, Teresa, Adam Gardner says hi, Teresa. Hey. Hi, Adam. Adam, you want to do a call in? Would you like to talk to Teresa? I'll talk your head off. <laughs> Teresa. <laughs> Teresa, wake up, wake in time, posted something, said Taco Bell keeps changing colors from purple bell to red. And then no way! The bell's red now. It's he said. Taco Bell keeps changing color, purple bell to red, and then plain white, no color. That's from wait, wait, Brian. Bring oh my gosh, bring that up, Brian, because I go to Taco Bell a lot. That's like one of my nah. Bring up Taco Bell because I'm gonna freak out on this one. Yeah, he's in the chat. Oh. Um, I just sent you, res Brian, I just sent you some awesome residue from the Facebook group. Okay. I, I, I'm afraid I, to look at Taco Bell. Guys, Please don't freak me out. Nutella, Nutella for me had a had a had like a brown. Like, I thought it was brown, not black. Let's see here. Gloria, you said the bell changed? Um, he said, let me see if I can find it. Taco Bell keeps changing color. Purple bell to red and then plain white, no color. Let me look at it real quick. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. Oh, well, I'm That's afraid to look. In, uh, what was we name? should we should talk oh, about the cable wires too, Gloria. We might want to bring that one up. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to bring it up, hey, <laughs> Brian? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, check your cable wires. Check your cable wires. Go on in your room. <laughs> okay, so apparently the 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 purple bell went away. The red and purple what? in the way. No. 2016 to present. Now it has just a purple. 
that they, they did away with pink. It's like a purple and white color now. It looks so plain now. No way. Yeah. But ta Taco Bell's got some pretty snazzy ingredients in there, man. They keep you hooked on it. I don't know, man. I, I like go there like probably twice, three times a week, you know? <laughs> they got really good food. They got me hooked. So wait a minute. So what does it look like crying to talk about that thing? No. Okay, let's talk about... No, I'm seeing a purple one. It's kind of a pink purple. All right, let's talk about the purple. Are, are the cables from your cable company, are they white or black? What color are your cables? <laughs> <laughs> well, who, who's the one who discovered this first, Gloria? I'm just curious. Uh, actually, that one, the credit goes out to World Church. Ah, uh, like is that... E Okay, that's perfect. We want to give people credit also, anybody who's listening. Um, if you do find a Mandela effect of your own, you know, let us know. But if somebody else found it, please give them credit when credit is due. Do you agree with that, Gloria? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if you guys noticed um, the people who are from my Facebook group. I do a shout out. I'll be like, thanks, you, you know, Uni Monday. Thanks, Moneybags. Thanks. Whoever, I'd like to give that person credit and then share it because that's the right thing to do. You agree, Brian? Yeah, I think it's right. We should always give credit when credit's due. Uh, let's. When was the Challenger? Does anyone know when the Challenger exploded? Top quiz. In the eighties, I used to work for a bank, and I was driving to Wendy's to get hamburgers with my two friends, and I remember seeing it happen. In Orlando, Florida. So I seen it happen in person, and it really did happen. I can tell you that we all freaked out. Yeah, and then there was something about they all survived or something. Oh no, they did not. No, they didn't. You want to know how I know? Yeah. I have I have friends that had um, people who knew the teacher who passed away, and they had memorials everywhere in Orlando and everywhere. Um, in Cocoa Beach, and they were doing memorials, and they had funerals and everything. So, no, it happened. That was not fake. No, 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 that no, no. I'm not, I'm not saying it didn't happen, but I'm saying no. there was something that come out that they all survived. I don't. I don't believe that. I don't know. If no. you've seen that video that there's people in the states that are they changed their names, but. They look exactly like the crew that were on. Are you that. serious? I yeah. wish Brian would show this. I, I I can't remember what video it was or if I can find it again, but I I hundred percent remember. How many people in the audience that are old like me, <laughs> old, <laughs> remember when the Challenger blew up back in the eighties? That that means you'd at least have to be how old in your forties, Brian? Mm -hmm. Forties or fifties to remember it. Uh, um, no, no ages here. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. No, Anybody who remembers I'm, the eighties, I'm, I'm forty-three. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be say, fifty-five. I would say you would have. Brian, hold you. I'm thirty-seven. And don't forget me. I'm eighty-nine. Remember, it was my birthday a few days uh, ago. <laughs> oh, oh yes, Mar thank Mar you, Marilyn. Marilyn, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you look good for <laughs> thank you. you. <laughs> Uh, uh, Teresa, Dale has a question. Is yes. it said that Hershey bars changed to Hershey's with an S yes, bar? That did it for Ooh. me. Oh. So he, but I remember Hershey bar because it's, right. isn't it from Hershey, Pennsylvania? Hershey, where Pennsylvania. they have a factory? Hershey. Now it's apostrophe S. Hershey bar. I bet I can find residue for that, guys. I bet you can. <laughs> I let you? Dale know. I'll be on that yeah. tomorrow hey. or maybe tonight. Well, I will um, is see him for my group. Teresa, can you hunt for a picture of Hershey on a bar with just the Hershey and not yes. the S? Can you do that right now? Or when you yes, get, right now? Yeah, when you get a chance. Like, I'll give a I'll give a shout out to Moxie, Liam, and Cowboy are here. Oh hey cowboy. What's up, Dale? Why is the Taco Bell white and purple? What? Mm -hmm. That's so weird. No, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. That's wrong. It's yeah. white and it's got a purple background. Let me ask you guys something. Has anyone's favorite color shifted? I'm curious about that. Like maybe your favorite color used to be. Oh no! This is really hurt my head looking at this taco. No, mine's always been blue. And really? Same, Mine yeah. Blue and it shifted to purple for some reason. I like I seem to like purple, like dark purple. I'm staying That's with my cool. red and my purple, and nobody's changing that. They can I download what I, they want. I'm not too much on the on the birthstone type deal but mine's always been the sapphire blue dark blue so for september so i've always been i've always loved the blue the dark blue so i have a ring with a dark blue center from my uh, graduation class so oh, that's wow. weird it, it, what what happened to you brian that that led you to purple <laughs> I don't know. Oh, hi, Lisa. She's it's, in the chat. <laughs> hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Lisa's, Lisa's amethyst. I guess, you know, maybe that's... Oh, that's a hint, that's a hint, a hint Brian. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Julie says green is her favorite. All right. Hey, hey, and let's talk about this one for a minute because somebody asked me a question in the, in the mail. Like, they sent me an email. Uh, why, why is it that uh, now red green and blue are the primary colors and there's there's actually two sets of primary colors you have one set for pigmentation like for paint yeah. and the other one is for light for paint it's it's uh red yellow blue because those are the yes, three they primary do, they, pigments. Mix, they mix into other colors yeah right and then the other ones for light is what red green and blue Ooh. And then there's actually another set for if you're going to be printing, like ink-wise, you have like a cyan and a magenta or something, and then black. Yeah, that's something weird. like that. It's weird. Yeah. Teresa, I'm hunting residue. Do you wanna <laughs> you wanna share one of the posts that I put in uh, the group about the researches? discovering that we have a second brain in the human body uh where is that located i'm sorry actually, hey, where's the other brain we have i message brains? it to you i message it to you brian go to your message oh. yeah uh, uh, you. glory, was, glory was telling me about that earlier and uh i i did what about our brain now i'm sorry there's there's two part there's two brains and we literally, um, for comedic purposes here, um, <laughs> it's a brain oh, sorry, fart. Corey. It's a brain fart. <laughs> literally a brain fart. Floated and stored like it. Okay, what minute marker am I looking at, Glow? Do you know? Uh, I sent you. Go to your messenger, Brian. Are you on your video? You know, I'm looking at it, but it says that you have two brains. There's a second brain in the human body now. Yeah, basically you just have to go to the whole thing. I don't know what of neurons which control the rhythmic muscle contractions which help waste travel. No. Oh my gosh, I can't stand that voice. All right, it sounds so AI, doesn't it? it sounds That's like not going to fit in there. Like Laurel and Yanni all over again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, so there's the video if you want to check into that. There's this researchers discovered a second hidden... A second brain in the body. Wow. In the uh, prosteria area. Yeah, I think <laughs> that's where it is. You come so it's a brain fart, right? Yeah, it's a brain fart. You're right. <laughs> that's funny, Corey. No, really, that's where they think it's. That's that's where I think they said it's located. Is the brain in the butt. I think so. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. But yeah, we have two brains, receptors, whatever. Are you guys serious? Two brains? I posted it in the group. You didn't see it. I posted it yesterday. Well, no. We have two amygdala now, um, and which controls our human emotions, or the, basically the emotional memory now. Maybe that's why we're so split decision all the time, you know, with these. Well. The thing is, 
you know, I've learned to embrace both sides, you know, of the equation. It doesn't matter what you say, Berenstein, Berenstein, don't matter. It's like tomato, tomato to me. Uh, same basic thing. Uh, you know, but I think it does create confusion with people. You know, the Monopoly guy, for instance, you know, that's that's a big one for me. I, I always remember having a monocle, you know. Me too. I just want to go to my happy place, you know, being with the Lord and everything, you know. Yeah. Makes me happy. And, oh, uh, I found a little bit of residue, Brian. With my baby. <laughs> Aw. It says, it says, explore Hershey chocolate. There's no, do you, do you have any drawings with Hershey bar? Maybe a Hershey bar drawing? I'm looking. That's going to be a hard one to find, but I'm looking, okay? All right. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, 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 I just found something. Hold on. Oh, you did? Yeah. This is interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. My internet's slow. Sorry, guys. Oh, that's cool. Hey, another another uh, very big change. Everyone knows this one, but uh, for those of you that are new to the effect, the Kit Kat bar has changed. And I know there's tons oh, of Teresa Yes, them. yes. Did you see the one where there's the dash? It's like on a chair, not a chair, a bench. Remember that one? Yeah, it's like on the side of a bench. Yes, oh, it's got oh. the dash in it. I got a big update here. Um, oh, Lisa, what's up? Payne, Lisa Payne just said, I love you, Brian. Aw. Aw. You embarrass him. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you see this picture? I found it. Someone, it says Hershey right here. Someone wrote No it. way. They beat me. Hey, they're pointing to a candy bar that's a Hershey bar. And look, it says Hershey, not Hershey's. See? Uh, and it was yeah, no way. it was Hershey kisses, not Hershey's kisses. But look what's happening to the residue, guys. You know, like I think those of us who are affected, hopefully our residue will not change. But look, look at this. I'm looking at a Twix drawing. Yeah. And look, look at the T is being cut into. That T was a normal T, but if you go back in time now, it's got this little slit in the Twix T. And then also you have the eye, which has a caramel eye, like the dot. And then it's got these two little lines. And those two little lines inside the dot are supposed to represent the two Twix bars. So, yeah, that's – for me, that's a definite change. That that was a red eye, and that T was joined. It was connected. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, wait. Ha! Look at this. This one says heresy bar. So good. Oh. What? It's unacceptable. Unacceptable, yeah. Uh, but, Brian, but I have something I'm going to send you. Hershey. Huh? I'm going to... Why go and change Hershey to Hershey's? That's my question. Yeah, no, it was always Hershey. Because I hated eating Hershey bars. They're Texas and we're else. Wait, how long? When did I do the video on that? I don't remember. It you did a lot, Brian. You've done a lot of videos. I've done like fourteen hundred videos. Oh my God. Wow. I mean, we've been more to come, folks. We beat the Mandela to death. Seriously, the Mandela is is got nothing. We we we've already proven it. It's happening. Um. But yet the effects still keep coming. Here's another one. Uh, there you go. Hershey. Somebody wrote Hershey, like on the chocolate right here. It looks like some sort of like uh, paint. Somebody did it with MS Paint, maybe. But I look. just sent you a really cool one. Did you? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you can see residue. <laughs> Let's 
see. Oh. Uh... Just remember anybody in the chat that has got questions for uh, Teresa. Okay, they got uh, questions. Get them ready. I'm showing one more Hershey and then we'll move on to the next subject or topic. So what's everyone in the chat saying now to what, what, what's the uh, hot topic right now? 9-11 is the hot topic right now about nobody dying. Uh, what? Um, nobody died in 9-11? No, not in the building, not in the towers. And, um, oh, God. Oh. I wanted to, Brian, I wanted you to ask the audience, um, the members, because I want to post it. I haven't posted it yet, but I, I need to. Does anybody remember one of the towers having an antenna on it, the Twin Towers? I'm curious about that one. How many of you guys remember on the Twin Towers there being an antenna on one of them? Which First right topic? now has been flipping back and forth. I, I yeah. know. I've heard there's some residue if you watch Super Mario Brothers, the movie. Uh, and also, uh, there's another movie. There's like the Dream Team, I think. The very beginning part of the Dream Team. You remember mm -hmm. that movie with Michael Keaton? That, oh wow! Was that that was after he did Batman, right? Batman was what 1989, and this one was probably like the year after or something. Huh? No, well, I was. I only, did not know that. I was only in New York once, and yeah, I want to take a vote. Who was the best Batman in your opinion, guys? Was oh. it Keaton or uh, or uh, what is his name? Uh, is uh, Michael Christian, Keaton? Christian Bale. Christian Bale yeah. was the best. Who? Christian Noel. <gasps> yeah. I, my, my oh, my gosh. Keaton, Michael Keaton was good, but the bar changed. It, it just because it was so old, it was, like, kind of cheesy. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wonder why like, he come back for Batman Returns. They used a different actor for Batman Returns. I just found a new M.E. Yeah, oh, they used uh, Val, Val Kilmer. Brian, I just discovered a new ME. Oh, what's the new one? Let me send it to you. It's it's. Let's see if you can tell. Do you know what a Wonka bar is? Yeah. Wonka bars. Wait till you see this. Tell me what you see wrong with this picture. Like seriously. I think I just found it. I was sitting looking at it, trying to find Hershey bar, and I found this instead. It's usually what happens to me. Um, look! Look at the A. Uh, the A and what? In Hershey bar. Tell me that doesn't look right. Oh, sorry, I said Christian Noel. It was Christian Bale. Yeah, Christian. Yeah, Christian Bale. Wait, yeah. no, no, no. What happened to the A and Wonka? Why? <laughs> you see it? Look at the sixes. Oh. Six, six, six. Do you see it? The sixes. There's your six on the A. There's your six on the K, and then look at the bar, six. <gasps> That's three sixes, Brian. Do you see it? Yeah. The K's got a six, the A's got a six, and the R's got a six. Oh, my God. I just see it. It's all three sixes, guys. No. You yeah, you need to show everybody this. This is yeah, going to freak you out. Yeah. It. The, the A looks like it's got, like, this M on the bottom here. All right. And it's got a six on the side. Look at it sideways. Sideways, uh, right here. Look at it. See the sixes. Look at the look at the way it curls. That's a six. Yeah. And look at the K. That's it, another six. Yeah, but what what I'm saying is this O was not like that. It was it was actually a regular. Guys, o. there you go. Teresa just found a, a new Mandela effect. Looking for a Hershey bar. <laughs> this, this A. Had a bar going straight across, and now it's got this little part right here poking down. Yes, and look at the O. A and the A are connected, and the O is messed up. How did you find? Is that a good find, Brian? Oh, how did you find that? Accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for your Hershey bar residue, and this came up to me. That's what I'm trying to explain about the Mandela effect, guys. It wants you to find it. You will literally be doing your own thing, and all of a sudden, you'll come across a Mandela effect right in front of your eyes. This is not the first time this has happened to me. It, it presents itself right in front of me all the time. 
Right, Brian? Yeah. Now, let me... Let me and it, 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 it goes right in your face, like, see me. Yeah. Let me tell you something else that's confusing, okay? When you're, when you're watching this movie, uh, um, it's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Mm -hmm. They came out with a newer movie with Johnny Depp starring in there, and... And it's oh, called freaking me out. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So they're just, they're kind of confused. They're adding to the confusion. But yeah, Teresa's right. This is a change with the Wonka take... bar. I can't believe no one's taken notice. Because it was meant for me to find it, Brian. No, these these are brand new. These are. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want to do a video on it? And I'm going to go ahead and post it later on, but we'll do a video. Yeah, and we'll... then I'll post it later. Do a video and I need to do it. I should have traced this logo. I'm sorry. Guys, that's my fine. Nobody steal it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a regular O. This is really weird. Yeah. Oh. Good, a good fine, right, Brian? Mm -hmm. oh, I it wrong. What do you think about that? Look, here's sort of. No, that's not what, what exactly what it was, but. Oh. That's freaking me out, Brian. I seen that and I'm like, no, that's wrong. I'm looking up if it had any logo changes in the last few years, and I, I don't see anything. It looks like the O has always been that way from what I can see. Yeah, yeah, look, look, guys, look. Look at the movie. Willy Wonka. Make him a head hurt. <laughs> oh, right here, guys. Look. I, I don't know how I did it, Brian. Um, like I said, I was looking for your Hershey, and this came up, and it was, like, right in my face. Like, okay. literally. I'm going to write that one down. Great find. Yay. <laughs> and guys, that's what happens to me a lot. Teresa, uh, I'll, I'll be looking for one thing and something else will find me. They should call you the it's, Mandela Effect Residue Factory. Yeah. <laughs> I pump one thing out, another thing comes in. <laughs> you, you lean against a pole and ride a bus, it's all good. Wow. Uh, wow. Well. Yeah, we're def we're definitely going to do this this video, and I'll post that one later on, for um in the Facebook chat, and I want people to see this logo because it is like, you can oh. you can clearly see the sixes, oh. Brian. You can clearly see the sixes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just found some residue. Three sixes. I just found some residue. Hold on, let me. No yeah. way. Yeah, I did. On a quick shout out, Chariot of Fires here in Allie Taylor. Hey, everyone. How many people we got listening, guys? 32. Wow. Welcome all 32, you guys. And if you're not a member of my group yet, um, some of uh, Brian's um, listeners, it's uh, Reality Residue Hunter uh, with some yeah, with some explanation marks after it. And you're welcome to join. I'll accept you right in. And feel free to, like I said, post your old residue and your new residue. And if you've had any strange experiences related to the Mandela effect, um, you're welcome to post that as well. I, I Listen, does anyone have any recommended movies for us this week? Because I do. Uh, Vanilla Sky. I would, I would revisit Vanilla oh, Sky. Strange movie. Yeah, look at the freaking logo. I mean, the, the L's are merged with the A, and the A and the N is merged. I don't remember that, folks. I don't remember the A and the N and these letters being no, merged. No, no, no. It looks like a Star Wars title or something. <laughs> wow. But it's, it's Tom Cruise and his Scientology, right? So. Yeah, yeah. What was that movie about, Teresa? Do you know? You remember Vanilla? I can't remember. It's been he, too long, Brian. I'm sorry. He okay. died. He died, and then I don't know. He thought he was alive, and then he went through uh, all this. Good stuff. memory. Good memory. I. It's been too long for me. I didn't like the movie very much, so I don't remember much of it. But well, it was. It was. I know it was one of those really weird movies. Yeah. Uh, um, Tom Cruise seems like he never ages, too. Yeah. He's not a bad looking guy. Let's see. So Yeah, well so Saint Saint Satan, Satan will do that to you if you give him a few pesos, right? <laughs> That's funny. It's a fantasy movie, mystery and romance. Uh yeah. you should check it out. I don't know. 
just a thought. Somebody somebody sent me an email about Vanilla Sky having a change in there. And uh, yeah, well, like I mean, the title out. there looks regular, Actually, but in the movie, there's a bus, and on that bus, if you pay attention, real close attention, you can see there's a a Volkswagen logo without a split. You know the, the how we remember the Volkswagen being. Yeah. It's in that movie. If you if somebody can find me that residue, take a screenshot. That would be helpful. Wow. Wow. Uh, I circled where the sixes are at, Brian. If you want to show them. Yeah, yeah. On that other logo. Yeah. Do you see it? Are you? Oh wow. Do you see them now? I wanted to point it out to you. Do you see them? Where's the other six? On the R for bar. Oh, what? I didn't see that. There you, that's 666. There you go. How do you, you see it? it? That's, that's insane. I, I, I my eyes are wide open, Brian. I see everything. I think my third eye is opening. I'm, I'm surprised it's not peeking through my skin yet. You're going to start <laughs> looking like a cyclops. <laughs> I am. I, I feel like I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I'm going to have an eyeball right in the middle. I swear my third eye is opening up. I can feel it. Yeah, that O is so wrong, you know. Show the sixes where they're at, Brian. I circled it. It's right. Yeah. You I, see it? I, I, I'm showing them right now. You guys see that Teresa spot? That is freaky. Look at this. Look at the six on the A. Show them. See how it's circled? And then the K and then the R. That is demonic. Oh. Three sixes right there. I'm wishing I would have like, traced this one. I didn't. I don't know if I traced it or not. I don't know, but I didn't. I knew I seen this right away, Brian, and I knew there was something wrong. I I seen the sixes; they were like wow. right on my face. I I was supposed to present this to you, and that's what I'm doing now. Let me see if I traced it. It seemed like I would have traced it. Wow, isn't that crazy? Willy Wonka. <laughs> I remember the little. Thing. I think the devil's getting part of this stuff, part of this Mandela effect. Okay. Um. Um. Yeah, the Laffy Taffy has changed too. The L and the A emerged. Laffy Taffy. Um. What's it, what's everybody talking about, Glow? Oh wow, they're they're just talking about a lot of things, a lot of logo changes and six really? six yeah. and Walt Disney always has the six 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 signature. Yes, yes. Ali Taylor was talking about uh something about uh, in the movie Armageddon. Yeah, yeah. I mm -hmm. don't know what she's referring to, but. Um, I asked that I asked her what it was, so maybe she'll send Brian. What is it? Something about the Armageddon movie. I think she said that there's a new character in the movie and she never noticed it before. If that's the same person. Oh, was, really? Yeah. Okay. Huh. There's, there's a whole new guy in Bruce Willis's yes. crew that never okay. there before. Yes. I've seen wow. The movie a hundred times. His name is Freddie Noonan. Hmm. Hmm. Strange. I'd have to rewatch it. I I I don't know. You're talking about the Expendables? No, Armageddon. No, 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 Armageddon. You know the one with Bruce Bruce Willis and uh, Ben Affleck. Yeah. Yeah. She's saying there's a new character that wasn't there. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, Julie. I I am in Teresa's group. Yes. I've been posting stuff here and there, whenever I can. I mean, it's it's really. What was she asking? What was she asking? She was asking if I'm in the group. Yeah, I'm in the group. Oh yeah, Brian. Brian's up there. He just he's very busy, but uh, he I do try to post for him. I don't think she was asking Brian. I think she was asking the other Brian. <laughs> oh, the other Brian. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong <laughs> Brian. Who really knows Brian's in the group? <laughs> Brian, are you in the group? <laughs> Earth Brian. Brian, Brian wants to know. Brian? <laughs> I X them or I send them the link so I don't know. Well, we can repeat it again. Reality Residue Hunter, again, if you guys are just tuning in, 
a brand new group, feel free to join. I welcome you and your old residue and your new residue and anything else you want to offer to the group okay. is, is very welcomed. And I, I love every one of you guys and I want to thank you guys all for being there. And we're one big happy family and we'll be there for you. We know this is a strange experience to go through. Trust me, I've been there since December 27th, 2016 when my two pairs of Skechers decided to change spellings on me. And now you just kind of wake up and you're ready to figure out what's going to happen every day because it's kind of like living a soap opera, having the Mandela effect, right guys? Yeah. We never, know, we never know from day to day what new changes might appear. We never know. We can't, even, we can't plan ahead. Yeah, let's, I'm, I'm curious about that character, Teresa. What is this new character uh, that Allie Taylor is talking about? I don't know. I haven't seen Armageddon in a long time, guys. A, a long time. What's his name? What's the name of the character? Noonan? Something Noonan? Noonan? Corey. Corey, what's the name of the guy? Yes. Oh, I'll have to go back uh, up the Oops. chat here. Um, oh. Noonan? Maybe they'll repeat it again. Freddie Noonan. Who's that? I don't know. Huh. I'll, okay, I'll just post it again. Freddie Noonan. It'd be a parcel in me. It's been a while since I've seen that movie, actually. Me too. Isn't um, Aerosmith's daughter in the movie? You know, Aerosmith, yeah. he's got a daughter. Liv Taylor. Isn't she in the movie? Yeah, Liv Taylor. Yeah. I love her. She's she's an excellent um, actress. She's very, very nice person, I heard, when I've seen her in interviews. I'm trying to find uh, Freddie, Freddie Noonan. Bob Noonan, N-O-O. Probably N E N or something like that, Noonan. He's a fictional character played by Clark Heathcliff. It's funny his name He's is Cl Heathcliff. <laughs> and we all know that song has changed. Heathcliff, Heathcliff, no one should wow. terrorize the neighborhood. And now it's like terrify or terrify, now it's terrorized or something. Wow. So Clark Heathcliff Broly. Yeah. It's definitely a movie I'm going to have to revisit now because there's this new character. Yeah, where did he come from? I have no idea, Brian. Maybe we can... Uh, what, is, what, what does he do in the... Like, what, what, what's his part? Um, there's another part that I can't seem to wrap my head around. It's just like... Does everybody remember the part in the movie Armageddon where uh, the guy's trying to fix something and he says, "This part's rush. I'm Russian. You're American. This thing's made in Taiwan or something." Or how does it go? Yeah. How does how, um, you, how does that line go? I don't remember, but I remember giving you residue. If you do a search in your uh, drive, it's in there. Remember the I, residue I gave you before? I, I quoted. I, I, I actually. I remember that quote, uh, Brian. Oh. I think you're right. I think you're right on that. Something about the Russian, the Americans saying something about it being from, you uh, know, well, Tawai, I, Taiwan I, 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 or something. Directly to my sister all the time. And I was like, I'm Russian. You're American. This thing's made in Taiwan. Yeah. Help me out here, guys. Am I the only one remembering that? No, I remember it. Because he was you making. Know, maybe I can find you some new residue. Yeah, we can get some residue up later for that. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, so I the. Can try to find some for you. To sum everything up, so the biggest Mandela effect tonight so far was when doves cry. I would say the next one, probably uh, second place would be Nutella, and the third place would be Willy Wonka. But uh, actually, Teresa, you're actually number one before all those. So thank you. For uh, doing all that you do. Uh, Teresa, you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm sorry. What'd you say? No, I said I said you're. Oh, I, I named the three top the top three Mandela effects, and then I put you ahead of you're you're number one uh, for our group and everybody. You know, you do the most work. 
I think fine. Well, thank you. Thank you, Brian. And I will, this is, a, I'm, I'm reminding you guys again, you still have time if you want to be on the uh, next video featuring your residue, because uh, I am going to be putting out a video in the next couple of days, and mm -hmm. you, you will get credit for whatever you, you have, you know, your photos, and of course, you're welcome to post them also in Teresa's group. Uh, I'm going to yes. run and I'm going to be giving Brian some more residue. I have some more to give him in a few minutes on cup of soup, uh, I'm sorry, cup of noodles. And a few other things. Yeah, it was. It was. Was it cup noodles or cup of noodles? Cup I of. have residue for cup of noodles. I got. I got a tons of residue for that one. I'm going to present to you some good residue too. So, Brian, um, I don't know how long you want to go, but um, yeah, we're going to take some questions from the chat or. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Does anyone have any questions for uh, Teresa? Any? Let's let's think of three good things. Three three things we could use as, <laughs> uh, extra insight on. A lot of people are talking about the the moving islands. Did you see the video on those islands that just pop mm -hmm. up out of nowhere? Yeah, what no, about but I like to hear about it. What what's another island that pops up? No, there's just so many of them. I I wouldn't even know where to begin. It's it's mind boggling. Well, Somebody made a video on it. I can't remember who did it. And it's just unbelievable how many beautiful new islands just popped up in the strangest wow. place. Yeah. Yeah, and Hawaii. That's is amazing. Hawaii is melting. Yeah. Hawaii is making another island. All that um, yes. ash is yes. forming another island. That's exactly what it's doing. The earth is just doing what it always does, you know? No, but I mean, the people that are dying. It's, it's on a much faster yeah. pace. Yeah, definitely at a faster pace. And I think that has something to do with maybe what CERN is doing and it's interfering with what what's normally what was normally going to happen, I think, because of CERN, they're kind of making it worse than what it would have been. Speeding That's up, oh. speeding everything up. That yeah. should have happened years from now. It's now happening now. Yeah, exactly. It's like taking a, a, like taking a movie or, you know, watching a movie on a DVD player and you're speeding it up. That's right. what it feels like happening. Right. Uh, I don't that, think that volcano would have been as bad as it is if it wasn't. Yes. Bad with. Wow. That's. <sighs> does, does anybody have any questions for me, Brian? Anybody? Anybody in the chat want to? Anybody? Question <laughs> for <laughs> Teresa? We heard the other day that cup cup of noodles was actually a marketing change that happened in the nineties. Hmm. You believe that? Could be, but I do have residue for it. <laughs> <laughs> can I it just, could have been a change. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, Teresa, can I just clarify something up for somebody in the chat? Yeah. Brian, Brian has a question. Brian. Yeah, Brian, it's not that CERN is creating the Mandela effect, but when they're playing around with particles and doing what they're doing, they're interfering. <clears throat> with the frequency of the earth and the magnetic field. And what's happening is they're speeding up things and making it worse. That's why oh. they're, they're the reason for the Mandela effect. Cause I wouldn't give them that kind of credit cause they're really not the reason for it. But what they're doing by, by experimenting with black holes and doing what they're doing, they're screwing everything up. And that's why a, a, a country or a state that has an earthquake, it's amplified because of- Oh, wow. Not saying that they're the cause of the Mandela effect. I just wanted to clear that up for him. Is that was is that from Brian? No, the actually, other Brian? Yeah, we yeah. we can prove it because we know what they're doing. You know, so we we can. Wow, prove it. Yeah, that that is proven actually. That's wow. So, so I have a, a an offset question. Do you guys believe in all the tunnels that they're building all across? America underneath that connected the Walmarts. Yes. Oh, yes, yeah. I do. You do. Okay. I was just wondering who I, I watched the video on it, and I, I agree wondering. on that. There's something going on with that. They're planning something that's going to happen in the near future, but we just don't know what. You know, Sharon has, Sharon just said something about wine skins and bottles. Yeah. Oh, in the Bible, yes. Yes, that did change. Now, what is it? Bottles are in the um, Bible now? I think Meeks, Meeks, um, Megan Bellums, I call her Meeks, 
I think she did a video on that, Brian. I don't know if you can find it. Hang on, I got I got residue here. Someone sent me. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, um, Marsha Marsha F. I'll say her. I don't know if she wants me to say her last name. Just give her initial. Yeah, Marsha F. Marsha Marsha. Marsha Marsha Marsha. I couldn't be so sorry. <laughs> Not laughing at you. Hey, look, guys, right here. If you if you see in the two pictures, right here, puts number, verse twenty two. This is from Mark chapter two, verse twenty two. Wow. And also, nobody puts new wine into old wine skins. If he does, the wine bursts. The skin and the wine is lost as well as the skins. But people put new wine into new wine skins. Um. Yeah, same here. And no one pours new wine into old wineskins. If he does, the wine will burst. Skins, both the wine and the wineskins will be ruined. No, he pours huh. new wine into new wineskins. That sounds more what we remember. Yes. Yeah. 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 They didn't have bottles back then, did they, Brian? Bottles? No. 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 no not not in Jesus' time. And why, why would no, they... that, that's what's so bizarre about it. No, oh, well, God knows. Now, like in the 1990s, like we got electricity and stuff. So, well, first, of, first of all, nobody puts wine into bottles. They put wine into glasses. It doesn't even yeah. make sense. But yeah. If you read, if you read certain things in the King James Bible now, it says frying pan, highway, uh, bank, mm -hmm. a plane, matrix. I mean, come on. How about an officer? So they got officers. Yeah, officer. It's yeah. And they got castles and. Oh, oh my gosh! Another new Mandela. Oh boy, I'm gonna hold. I'm ready. Up. I'm gonna send you a new one. It's from once. Oh lordy, it's from once upon a timeline. This is gonna really. Uh, how does she get that? How does she find her stuff? She does. A, she obviously does a lot of research. She has. I'm gonna send you a new one. Uh, what's, the, on, what's the change with uh, us? Is it Os Miss Mercer? Os Mercer? Is that how you say your name? What's the <laughs> change? Yeah, that's a weird Hello. name. Hello, you were uh, saying Os about Mercer. the change. Yeah. yeah, it's Os Mercer. Yeah. Yeah, what was the change? No, he was just saying, he just realized that there's glasses of wine at the table and bread. So a lot of people in the chat are talking about, when you're talking about the Bible changes, they're not aware of most of them. So the fact that we brought up that there is the word matrix now in there and frying pan, they weren't aware of it. So you're just getting feedback on that. Okay. Okay. Did you see the one I just sent you? Let me check it out. Hold on. I mean, the Bible changes are profound. They're just profound. It, it's unbelievable. No, oh, we can go all night about what yeah. happened. Yeah, but a, a lot of people are new to the viable changes too, and that's that's yeah. I think that's the scariest thing of all, aside from the logos and stuff. That that's really scary. Yeah. Hey, oh. hey, uh, Gloria, yes. Brian, guys. I wish um, the members out there, any members that know about the Bible verses that are changes, um, I wish you would post more Bible verses um, in the group in the um, Reality Residue Hunter Facebook group. I'd love to see more Bible um, verses post in the group, right, Gloria? We absolutely. don't get enough of those. Yeah, absolutely. Holy crap! We need to we need to not forget oh, um, look at the religion. The, look at the video about one, this is from Once Upon a Timeline. Now I would go ahead and subscribe her. She really keeps uh, a lot of the. I like her. Stuff. Yeah, it's very good. So she does. She did this video where. So some damaged teeth can regrow. Yeah. Yeah, I watched that earlier. Grow and receive throughout life. Supposedly, it stresses on the mandible that is said to cause this tori. Oh. Well, this is blue. I really like her, Eva. I kind of wish she would be able to come on the 
Brian, I'd like to know if you can get a hold of Eva and maybe get her on Friday's show. I would love to talk to her. I know. I know. We, we should try. To- if Eva, if you're out there listening, we'd love to have you on the show Friday on Brian's show. And also, if you're not a member of my group, I would love to get you in my group. I really like watching her her um, videos. So if anybody knows Eva from um, this channel, tell her we'd love to have her on Brian's show. That would be awesome. Has anybody felt like they've had uh, any issues breathing? You know, I know, I know I've asked that before, but um, you know, as far as like respiration, you know, plants respire now. They apparently plants breathe now. What? Yeah. No way. Mm-hmm. And and they also uh, in the dark they actually consume your oxygen in your room, so they might they Ooh. might they might be choking you. But oh wow! Uh, <laughs> Brian. As soon as there's light, when, when there's light, the plants start creating oxygen again. I'm gonna make a joke. I can't resist this, Brian. You ready? What? Feed me, Seymour. Feed me, Seymour. <laughs> <laughs> They might not get that joke. You might need to explain that one. <laughs> Wait, isn't that for the younger people? That's an effect too, isn't it? Feed me. Feed yeah, me. Um, there was a movie. Um, what was it? What was it called? Little Shops of Horror. Um, Rick Morantis from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. And there was a plant that actually talked, and he had to keep giving it blood. Right, Brian? Yeah. Feed me. And he kept saying, "Feed me, Seymour." You can find a lot of residue, and I think is it is it the little <laughs> cars? Yeah, they have residue from the Max, you know, the little Maxwell House cup yep. that they grow the that the, that they find the plant in. Um, the Maxwell House is normal; it's not like connected or anything. Oh wow! Yeah, all the a lot a, of residue in movies. The A and the X are merged in Maxwell House. Oh wow! Just like uh, Zaxby's, if you look at Zaxby's now, the new logo, the A and the X are connected. But, but, you know, it, the funny thing is when all the lo- – you, you guys there? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, when the logos change and, 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 you know, it's like why go to the trouble of changing like 500,000 stores around the country to, to, to the new logo and everything? It just doesn't make sense to me. And then no. you go back through time, it's always been like that. Uh, somebody pointed out to me that the Chick-fil-A A looks like a Chinese character. The, the A in Chick-fil-A looks like a Chinese character. It, 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 oh it, yeah, you're right. Oh, there's more changes to Lincoln Memorial, Brian. I'm gonna send you something, okay? Okay. New changes to Lincoln. Oh really? He might be getting up off the chair in a minute. Oh, oh man, that's gonna be so. That's crazy. That's gonna be. So I'm gonna cool. send you something. Hold he's on. Gonna he's get off the chair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's gonna count. I was being serious. He looks like he wants to get off the chair and take a walk. He's, he's been, gonna be in the yoga it. position next week. <laughs> oh, Gloria, we need Marilyn back. Oh God. Uh, he's gonna be. He's been a couch potato for two hundred years. What do you want? Oh, that's too funny. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send it to you guys. Okay, all three of you guys. All right. I want you. Brian, I want you to see this one. Gloria, I sent it to you, Brian, and Corey. I want you guys to check out this video. And tell me what you think. Wow. It's it's from Just a Voice uh, one day ago. That's who the video is from. Okay, well, we know he had a fist, but what's the new change? Well, good morning. I don't know. You might want to see, play it a little bit and see what it says. All right, you know what? I'm going to mute myself out and play it, okay? Yes. Will you do that for us, Gloria? Please. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to mute so I can watch it for a second. Okay, we'll both mute y'all. Lincoln Memorial. Because it was pointed out to me in a comment from a video I made yesterday about Lincoln. And people used to be able to sit on his lap. And it looks like... Stepping out already, because he had. I a see it. We're back, like a man. Yeah, sitting. you're right. Both legs. His legs. It's like he's moving his legs towards his body. I don't remember seeing? I don't remember his leg being stuck out front like that. Oh my god. Yes, right. I see it. Oh my gosh. That Google search. 
this popped up. This is sitting in a museum somewhere. And the hands are exactly the same as at the memorial. And pardon me, but I don't know how to do screenshots. I have to use my tablet pointed at my computer. And just... Detail on the eyes. Just looking. Brian, can you um, do you want to sh show some pictures of Lincoln um, besides the video, and show people what he looks like now, the the changes that are going on currently? Because yeah. that is huge. Look, yeah. Yo, what is? No, the foot wasn't that far forward. Look, it's hanging off the edge. He's getting laps. <laughs> Let you me. try sitting for 200 years. You tell me your legs are not going to be crampy. Well, <laughs> if, you, if you listen to Trump for like two minutes, you'd get up and walk away. Too. He's probably getting up. He wants to get out. It's get out with the... Well, hey, Lincoln, get out with the good... Well, it's good. His one leg <laughs> is stuck out, and his foot is hanging over. Oh, my God. That's huge, guys. And, and uh, Brian, add that to your list. Wait, his hand looks different, too. Yeah, no. This hand this hand or both hands? No, that hand with the... it. Were, no, that's wrong. It used to be a fist, but it was over the... No, that doesn't look right at all. It wasn't hanging over like that. You I know, know what I'm saying? It's face down, and he's got... No, Brian, the other hand. It the wasn't back. hanging over the armrest like that. No. But look at, look at the hang yeah. on. Look yeah. at his forefinger. His pointer finger is actually up off the armrest now. Maybe All that maybe that gives to the testimony of how our fingers grown longer. Oh yeah, like a clue. They're clues, some of these MEs, Brian. Maybe. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. I don't know. I mean, I mean, even not just somebody who doesn't have the glasses. They're trying to tell us to open our eyes and see. Hey, Teresa. Open our eyes and Teresa, look. Teresa, can you can you do a a, a quote from Scooby Doo for me, please, please, please? The the Velma one. Wow. My glasses. My glasses. Come on, you gotta do the Velma. <laughs> Mine. I would be Velma if I had to dress up for Halloween. I would dress up as her. Here are some listings for Monitor within five miles. I'll do, I'll do the I'll do the Scooby Doo. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Corey. That was good, Corey. Brian, do you have any imitations? Uh, I do Pee Wee. Okay. <laughs> I don't make monkeys. I just train them. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? I got one. I got one. Uh, I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too, Toto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's pretty good. Thank Come you. Boy, I love doing the witch. I love doing the witch. I can do a good Optimus Prime, too. <laughs> I want to hear Optimus Prime. This is our entertainment okay. hour, guys. Okay, here's Optimus Prime. <clears throat> Let me get my voice here. <clears throat> Autobots, transform and roll out. <laughs> good job, Corey. Uh, hey, Gloria, you want to do Marilyn do again? No, I, I could do, I could do uh, not an Oopa Loopa. What's the, the little guys on the... Um, we represent the Lollipop Kids. <laughs> lollipop Guild. <laughs> the Lollipop Guild. The Lollipop Guild. The Lollipop Kids. We represent <laughs> the Lollipop Go for it. Go for it. It hurts my throat. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, uh, everyone. That was real yeah. fun. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, that's crazy about the Lincoln thing. Uh, Brian, add that on your list. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere. Put it wow. on. Put it down. Yeah, that definitely, no. He didn't look like, no, 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 no. Hey, has anybody, like, talked about, brought up anyway, the DirecTV thing? 
Direct you mean it's saying D I R now? No, direct TV. It's instead of it having a T, it's like TV is stuck with direct. It's not a separate word. Direct TV. What? Yeah. Um, I got residue. I used to work there when I was right. when I was in the uh, orientation. I, I wrote down direct TV. Oh wow! It's you want to show it? I don't have it with me, but I think I might have showed it on an earlier video. Let me find it. Okay, thank you, Brian. I know there's like thousands of videos. Oh, yes, the munchkins. That's it, Taekwondo. It's the munchkins, not the Oopa Loopas. <laughs> the Oopa Loopas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading the chat. Guys, the people are funny. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you do the Oopa Loopas? The Oopa Loopas. That was hard to do. They oh, didn't see Teresa, Teresa, come on, do jinkies. I'll, my glasses. Come on, please. please. What did, how does she say it? Jinkies or whatever. Jinkies? Oh, yeah, they're jinkies. You don't know how she says it? No, no. <laughs> you know the Oompa, Oompa, <laughs> the Oompa Loompa song has changed for me. I don't know if anybody mentioned that as a Mandela effect, but I know it one way and it's different now. I remember Oompa, Oompa, Oompa de do. Yes. I got another riddle for you. It's not doesn't say that anymore. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. When the car flipped, we spotted your beach boat and decided to investigate. But who is that? This? This is the end of the mystery. I don't okay. Alex Jones Jones. Oh I guess. You find a lot of things on YouTube, that's for sure. That's freaking me out about the Lincoln thing. Oh my goodness, that's gonna that's one of those fries. Anyway, you know you know what I'm saying, Teresa. You know you've seen Scooby Doo. Oh Jinxies, my glasses. <laughs> yeah, perfect. That's good. <laughs> okay. I, just, I don't know what I can't okay. All right, so so, uh, Corey, you you'll be Shaggy for how? Or you you'll be uh, Scooby, and I'll be Shaggy. Okay. Uh, Glow, you want to be uh, uh, Daphne? We just need a Freddy, I guess. Oh, wait, that I know who that is. That's gonna be uh, Troy. Troy can be Freddy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so we're gonna go oh. ahead. And Thank you, Brian Stavley. He he just um, applied for the group. Oh, Brian just now. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Brian. I will definitely put you in right away. Yeah, Brian. We look forward to seeing some of your residue. Yes. As soon as you get in here, you can start posting away. Post your little heart out. Adam says, "Where is his Adam's apple?" Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's another Mandela effect from a while back. He lost his Adam's apple, and I think I found one residue, yeah. didn't I, Brian? Yeah, he I don't know where you have it. He had one because I know when, when Scooby and Shaggy went gulp, you know? Oh, yeah, that one disappeared. He I think he swallowed Adam, it. He had an Adam's apple, and he had little hair sticking out. Yeah. You know? Yes, yes, oh, I yeah. agree. I think, 100%. I, I, think, I think all the sandwiches they ate, his Adam's <laughs> apple went down with it. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, that's a huge Emmy. For Adam. <laughs> um, if 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 anyone's interested out there, uh, Supernatural has an episode in their new season where they actually get zapped into the TV. Oh yeah, and they're, and they're Scooby Doo characters, and they're actually with Fred and Daphne, and and, oh, and wow. the characters in Supernatural are trying. Well, the main guy is trying to hit on Daphne, and he's all mad at Fred because he's such a douche with a yeah. with the handkerchief thing there, or yeah, scarf right. thing over his neck there. So it, it was pretty funny. Yeah. You know. Well, we're gonna go ahead and call it a night, and we'll see you guys this Friday. But but it's another yeah. reminder, guys, get your residue into me, and I'll. Yes. Send it to the email. And also, 
and also post it in the group and make sure you tag one of us so we can get it ASAP, right, Brian? Yep. If you want to do it that way, that's that's fine. Reality yes. hunters. Get our attention. Either Gloria, Brian, or myself, or even Corey. Um, so we can we can at least get it, you know, get a video going and I can start get a head start on residue for Brian so that we can find residue for it as well on the new ME. Good night, Julie. Adam has residue for uh, Shaggy's uh, Ooh. website. Do me a favor, post it in the group. Post it in the uh, Reality Residue Hunter, if you um, if you don't mind. Good night, Glow. Please, please, please share Good night, it. Good night, guys. Good night, Dale. Good night, everyone. Good night, Dale. Brian. Good night, guys. Good night, Dale. Julie. Good night, Good night, John boy. <laughs>